Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, and today I'm going to be giving you guys a overview for a program by Stardot called Modern Mix. Now, Modern Mix is a program that allows you to run modern apps, not only on the Metro app interface, the start screen, but also on the desktop interface. And I'll go ahead and show you that as we go along in this video. Just in case, if you guys do opt out on this video, the chances are you're not going to get this program for free, so if you want to stay tuned on possibly wanting to know on how to get this for free, I'd listen up. So let's go ahead and take a look at this program and see what it does by uh, the first. Um, if we go over here by general, we have a few things that we can do. We can have the modern apps that we're accustomed to to open it in the full screen, in the start screen. Uh, we can have them open it in maximize, which is like the full desktop interface being maximized with a window mode and also just a normal window mode right here. The, thing, the same thing goes with the when it's launched from the Windows desktop. And what I mean by that is, if I have a Metro app that is pinned to the taskbar, and yes, the apps can be pinned to the taskbar now, and that's a good thing. And I think that's something that we all anticipated in wanting. So, for example, if I were to go over here and open an app, you can see iHeartRadio. Uh, it'll open in a window. Now, I have an option by grabbing this right here and making it full screen, or full maximized in the desktop interface and also just going back to the normal mode. Now if I were to go ahead and press uh, minimize, it'll be minimized as you can see right here. Um, and I can maximize it. Drag it over here to the Windows arrow snap and over here as well. Now the great thing about this is it has two features. One feature is that when you go over here, you'll see this. It can either be in window mode, which we're in right now, or we can do the full start screen interface, which is right here. You have easy controls. You can either disable it completely or you can just have it at the corner. You know, it won't be that much of a bothersome to you. The point of this program is to go ahead and run your applications in a window mode. Um, if you are one that does not want to have to do anything with the Metro interface, however, you still have a fancy for the, the Metro apps, this is your ideal remedy for this factor. Uh, a couple things that you can know is that if I were to right click on this icon, the Metro app, I can also pin the application to the taskbar, which is pretty cool. The next option is if I wanted to go ahead and disable the animation flip when an application is launched, that tends to slow the operating system down. And if you wanted to, you don't have to have that. All you have to do is just press that, go to your start screen and open up an application. And this will be open up. Uh, right here, I'll just go into window mode right here. And as you can see, it didn't get that animation flip. And that's something that most of you guys might enjoy just in case you have a low end computer. Now, another option is if I have an application that is in full screen, I don't know if it's running uh, unless I go over here. And if you do have that disabled, chances are you're not gonna know. So the thing is, if you wanted to go and show full screen applications on the taskbar, you can do that by selecting this. And right here, you'll see my full screen applications. They are running in the background and they are active. And all I have to do is just to open them is just go right here and it'll be opened. And then I can go over here to open it in window mode too. In app settings, I'm sure there's gonna be a lot more features currently being grown once the final version comes out. But currently, what it does is it keeps a history of all the applications that have been opened, whether in window mode, full screen, or maximize mode, it doesn't really matter. It just keeps all the settings right there in the application settings. And if you ever wanted to, all you have to do is just delete the settings either one by one. Chances are you can do right here and press that, or you can just delete all the settings right here and it'll all go away. Okay, so that's the overview for the program called Modern Mix. If you guys like this program, go ahead and download it. Um, it's a 30-day trial from Stardock if you want to go ahead and purchase it. I do believe it's five bucks. I purchased this myself and you can too. However, if you can't afford this, always check back at the bay if you can't pay. Uh, and that's my tip on how to get it free. Uh, that's not a definite thing and I wouldn't encourage it, but that goes out to the ones that can't afford it and chances are they might not end up buying it anyways. So if you guys like this program, like I had mentioned, go ahead and download it, enjoy it. If you have the modern UI completely off the scale of your Windows 8 experience for the desktop, um, chances are you want this program and chances are you want to go ahead and get access to these Metro apps that you might like. So go ahead and thumbs up this video, go ahead and share it, get the word out to those that have a pet peeve about the Windows start screen for Windows 8. And chances are they might actually tend to like Windows 8 even better being that this program came out. So until then, take care. If you guys notice, I do have a 
animated dream scene on my Windows 8 operating system. There's a video that I'm going to be making after this one. So if you want to stay tuned, go ahead and look for that video. I do have it on my channel. So all you have to do is just check back later and you'll see that video called Deathscapes 8. And until next time, see you later, guys. All right, bye.